In this video, we are going to configure the imaging application Sequence Generator Pro for automated meridian flips. This is a follow on to our original video talking about meridian flips and automating them and then going through the Gemini settings. So it's important you watch that video first and we'll put a link in down below so you can check it out. But this one specifically is going to be about how to configure Sequence Generator Pro after you set up your Gemini limits. So let's get into this now. We're going to look at uh, first uh, talking about some of our recap here, um, talking about the three steps to automating Meridian flips. And as we talked about last time, uh, the three important things were first to set your Gemini limits. At, those are your safety limits for East and West and your Western go-to limit. And that defines a flip allowed range. And then what we're gonna do is use our imaging application, and in this case, Sequence Generator Pro, to define a Meridian Flip request range. And the critical part here was making sure that the imaging app, that Sequence Generator Pro, when it makes a request, or was within that request range, that request range that we are gonna define, uh, that it's within the Gemini allowable range. And again, we've already set up this Gemini allowable range, so let's take a look at the example we have from the last time, uh, from the last video rather. Here we had a Western position of 100 degrees, which is 10 degrees past the meridian. Our Western go-to limit we defined as uh, nine degrees uh, going back towards the meridian. And the results based on our calculations is that we had a flip allowable range of 91 degrees uh, to 100 degrees or doing our calculations about uh, four to 40 minutes past the meridian. And so we're actually gonna take a look at this more specifically and talk about this in terms of this range that we want Sequence Generator Pro to uh, request the flip being within this range of four minutes to 40 minutes past the meridian. So now we're gonna get into the configuration uh, of Sequence Generator Pro. I am using uh, version 4.0. It's, I think it's a beta version now, but um, it's pretty solid. It's got the 64-bit version. These uh, settings for uh, Meridian Flip haven't really changed much in the last few versions, so it's probably gonna be the same as yours, but might look a little bit different. So let's go ahead and look at uh, the flip options inside of Sequence Generator Pro. It's, of course, inside the control panel, inside the telescope tab, and there's an option there that says use Meridian Flip. And uh, within there, we have a dialog box uh, under the set button that gives us all the Meridian Flip options. So let's kind of go through each of these. Uh, the first option is minutes past Meridian to flip. And I have just gone ahead and hovered my mouse over uh, the field. This is available in your software, so of course you can read it. But this is the most important setting here for Sequence Generator Pro and the one we're gonna focus on for setting up Sequence Generator, Sequence Generator Pro and the options there. What I wanna point out is that this talks about minutes in terms of clock minutes, not in terms of angle, in terms of arc minutes or anything like that. So we are going to compare apples to apples in our Gemini settings for this setting uh, of the Meridian Flip options. The second thing, which is the wait for Meridian option, uh, it says if the time until flip is less than the next exposure time, so your sequence exposures, you know, if you have uh, 300 second or five minute exposures, three minute exposures, whatever they are, if that time that it's measured until the flip is going to be requested is less than uh, the next exposure time, uh, then the sequence uh, is going to go into a wait mode and do a countdown until it hits that uh, request range and then execute the flip. Normally, you're not going to need to worry about this if you have enough of a range, an allowable range, and your, your um, exposure times are relatively short. And by that, I mean, you know, 10 minutes or less, which I think we all pretty much do. Um, I'm going to go through an example where this is going to be important for us, and I'll show it to you here in just a moment. The next option, pause before Meridian flip. Um, this is for manual intervention. So when you enable this, when it hits this Meridian flip request, the sequence is gonna stop and wait for the user to do whatever you need to do, whether you need to do the flip yourself, 
whether you need to shift the weights, whatever. And then once you click the go, it's going to continue on in its uh, cycle. So we're looking to automate and we're not going to use this uh, feature at all. There's no intervention that we're going to want to uh, include in this. The last one deals with auto centering after the Meridian flip. And you are in all likelihood going to have this enabled. In our example, we're not going to cover this because this deals with the plate solving aspects. So if you're imaging your target and then you do a Meridian flip, it's supposed to reacquire that same target um, after the Meridian flip. And in order to do that, it invokes a plate solve and centering routine. So you're probably going to have this option checked. But in this case, in terms of automating the Meridian function itself and what we're focused on, we're just not going to enable this right now. Again, I want to be clear, you're going to want to use this. You're, you're all likelihood, if you're doing automation, you're going to require plate solving, but we're just not going to focus on that right now. So for our automating the Meridian flip, we are really going to focus on minutes past Meridian to flip and a little bit of waiting for the Meridian. And again, that's going to be based in part on your exposure times uh, for your subs and also kind of how far your minutes past the Meridian to flip is going to be set. I'm going to give you an example of that here in, in a second. It's going to be a little bit more clear. And as I mentioned, you're probably going to be using plate solving. And by probably, I mean you almost certainly are going to be using plate solving if you're looking to automate Meridian flips so that you can go to sleep and wake up in the morning and have tons of great data available. So going back to our diagram, we need Sequence Generator Pro, that request flip range, to be between 4 and 40 minutes past the Meridian. This is the allowable range that we've defined in Gemini. And this 4 to 40 minutes includes a little bit of padding in there uh, just in case we're not exactly uh, on in terms of timing. So I think it's about a minute worth of timing, or a minute worth of padding, rather. So the challenge is, if you were just to use your default value of zero minutes past the meridian in Sequence Generator, you could see that this would actually put uh, the requested uh, time for meridian flip outside of the Gemini's allowable range that we just defined. So it's not going to work. It's going to attempt to do a Meridian flip and it's going to fail. So we need the minutes past Meridian to flip to be greater than four minutes. And in fact, uh, if we set an option of minutes past Meridian flip to five, we can look at our kind of diagram here and realize that that's going to be within uh, our allowable range. And that is literally all that we need to do. There are some things that you can do uh, optionally to fine tune this, you know, maybe you want the meridian flip a little bit later to image well through the meridian, but this alone with the Gemini settings that we've previously done will cause your meridian flip, your automated meridian flip to succeed. Now let's use an example here where we want the wait for meridian option uh, to be invoked. So you would use this situation in cases where you want to be really aggressive and you want to image as much through the meridian as you can and kind of invoke a meridian flip as late as you possibly can. So in this example, we're going to set our minutes past meridian to flip to 38 minutes. That is only two minutes before the western limit. And again, remember, in the western limit, that will literally stop your mount from tracking and stop everything dead. So we don't want to hit that limit. Here's the problem that we run into with this. Uh, let's just say, for example, our exposure times in this example are five minutes long. So I'm going to just give an example here in this list of my starting exposure times. Uh, and this is just an example. Let's just say in, in these five minute exposures, um, one is going to start at one minute past the meridian. So uh, Sequence Generator Pro is going to check and say, well, I've got plenty of time until I need this meridian flip. Not time until the meridian, right? Because that's zero minutes. It's time until the meridian flip. And it's 38 minutes. So at one minute past the meridian, it says, yeah, I can still go. So it's going to image for five minutes. Then at uh, six minutes, so that's one minute plus the five minutes of image time, it's going to look again and it's going to say, okay, can I? am I still... Uh, before the minutes past meridian to flip. And of course, six minutes is less than 38. And so it's going to continue imaging these five minute exposures until it gets to uh, 36 minutes. So it's going to finish that last exposure and look again. And it's going to say, 
am I before minutes uh, to the meridian flip? And it's gonna say, I'm not yet. And if we did have the wait for meridian disabled, it's going to continue to image that last exposure. And of course, after 36 minutes, it's going to look at 41 minutes and say, hey, it's time to flip. But the problem is it's too late, right? At our meridian flip, uh, our Western limit is 40 minutes. So it's one minute past the limit and we've hit the limit and the mount has stopped. So in this example, we want to use the wait for meridian option. We wanna enable it. And what that means is it's going to hit that 36 minute uh, exposure time and it's gonna look and say, okay, when am I supposed to flip? It's 38 minutes. Well, the next exposure is five minutes. So I'm gonna start waiting. I'm at 36 minutes, I'm going to wait for that meridian flip time to hit. And it's gonna wait 36, 37, 38 without doing any sort of imaging. And then it's gonna invoke the meridian flip. So that's an example of where we want to enable wait for meridian. And the equation, uh, just to make it simple, is that you have minutes past meridian that setting uh, in sequence generator minus your Western limit is gonna be less than your exposure time, okay? Hope that makes sense. So the summary of Sequence Generator Pro and Gemini automated Meridian flip settings in this simple example that we have here on the right side, our Gemini allowable range. We've set our Western position, our Western limit to 100 degrees. We've then set our Western go-to limit of nine degrees, and that gave us a four minute, four in a, in a clock sense, four minutes to 40 minutes of allowable flip range. And then in our Sequence Generator Pro, we've set our minutes past meridian to flip to five. And again, you can really put it kind of anywhere in there. I would probably not try, I would probably try to avoid to get it closer to the Western limit because that's really where you get into trouble if you hit that Western limit. So if you wanna put that anywhere from five minutes to say 25 minutes, even 30 minutes, that should be perfectly fine, provided that your exposures uh, for your subs are maybe five minutes or less. If your exposures are 10 minutes, then you probably don't wanna go much past 25 minutes uh, for that option. So this is going to allow you to set up Sequence Generator Pro and Gemini and get them to work well together. I hope this makes sense. Give it a shot. Again, your limits in your Gemini are gonna be specific to your setup. So don't just copy these values. Use the video tutorial on setting your limits. And again, we'll put a link in down below to that. And we're gonna make sure that you can follow all those things and if you do, the limit setting correctly, if you set up your Gemini and your Western go-to correctly and you understand how this works, then it's just a matter of choosing your Meridian flip uh, or minutes past Meridians to flip option in Sequence Generator Pro and you're gonna have a successful, fully automated night. <laughs>